Hey guys, what's going on? This is EJ Uno, guys, coming back again, guys, with another great video, guys. I'm outside. It's like, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I figure, why not just do a reaction video outside and uh, just, you know, talk about new movies that have been out and give my opinion, reaction, and, um, if you haven't saw it, you probably don't want to watch this video. But if you have saw it and you want to, you know, be included into giving your opinion, definitely leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, guys. Okay, so if you haven't saw the thumbnail, let me tell you about it. Let's talk about the Ninja Turtle movie, Mutant Mayhem. Okay, so the Mutant Mayhem movie came out and, uh, okay, what can I say about this movie? Okay, so... This movie, okay, I really, you know, I was getting the figurines, and the figurines look okay. Uh, the only person that I, I really disliked, and I really just like the Ninja Turtles, um, in my opinion, I only like those. I got everybody in the figurine collection, but I, because I just want to collect, I wanted to collect everybody, and it was, the, the figures were cheap. They were like $10, so I wasn't really caring about that. But, and, but I only like the artwork of the Ninja Turtles, if that made sense. I only really like the artwork of Leonardo. Not just because he's my favorite turtle. It's just because the artwork on Leonardo was close to home. I want to, I, I, I mean, if you, if you agree with me, you know what I'm saying. Um, now, just, okay, so... <laughs> I'm trying to, like, I want to get my honest opinion, but I don't want to offend nobody who has, you know, who, who does, you know what I'm saying, who's more, I mean, I'll, I'm a big Ninja Turtle fan, but, you know, I don't want to offend people who are big Ninja Turtle fans, so you might got something to say. But anyway, so the movie, okay, so the artwork for Splinter, I, I didn't like, I'm just going to put it out there, I, I didn't like the artwork for Splinter, uh, Jackie Chan, I didn't like him playing the the splinter because i just feel like it was i i don't feel like it was he's supposed to be like a master and he's supposed to be a father and he was being a father but he was being kind of a nerd at the same time you know what i'm saying like it, it just he didn't he didn't stand like strong of a character that i grew up watching the cartoon and watching the movie it, it didn't it didn't seem like that um bebop and rocksteady i understand it's the secret it, you know it's mutant mayhem but it, it, it's like mutant crappy artwork all over the place like seriously i couldn't i oh my god i don't like the way that bebop look he looked just well no i'm sorry bebop looked better than rocksteady like he actually looked like a, a fat warhawk pig and you know what I'm saying? And that was okay. Rocksteady looked deformed. I don't know. He looked like he was a hunchback of Notre Dame. It felt like it was X monsters mixed with uh, the monster mask mixed with Ninja Turtles. Like, seriously. It, it looked like one of those. And it just looked, it, it didn't look good. Uh, the, the, the fighting, when they were fighting off the character, off, off the bad guys, um, when the Ninja Turtles, I'm trying, the way I'm looking away, I'm trying to think about it. When they were following, oh, when April O'Neil's car got stolen and they followed the car inside of the building and they were fighting, that was, I like that. That was, that was pretty cool. I like that. What I didn't like is when they were battling Superfly. I don't, first of all, I don't understand. Okay, it's an internal movie. I understand Ice Cube is playing the character, but why mix a cartoon with like a pimp type of movie? Like, like I don't get it. Like they're mixing a Ninja Turtle cartoon with a pimp type of character at, and calling it Superfly. Like I don't understand with the whole concept. And when I hear people talking about this movie was great, the movie was not great. It, it was not great. It was okay. It was. It was. It, and when I say okay, I mean from a Richter scale from one to ten. It was in the middle. It was five. I wouldn't say it was just like man, dude. I can't wait for this thing to come on DVD. Like I, I can't wait. Like it, it wasn't like 
all that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, I'm not, I, I'm 41. I'm not so used to that um, type of artwork where like the, the the colors are just coming at you like you just been taking mushrooms or whatever like and i only and i only say that because it's like like if you if you see like on tv about people who take mushrooms and the demonstration they give you of how they see things it really looked like somebody of that part was taking mushroom or taking acid and they and, and all the colors were just coming at you i don't get that like it 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 can to me I felt like they shouldn't have done that because p people with epilepsy could have caught a seizure watching that movie. I feel like, you know, even if a kid had that type of problem, you shouldn't throw that many colors and make it like bounce off like that. It just, it was a lot of stuff that was like a no-no. You know what I'm saying? Superfly, he changed it to a crab. He, it like, it just, it, it just like, it, he was a crab, ant, beetle, whatever the fuck he was. He was something, but it just didn't go with the like it, like in my head I was like dude please calm this art down please it's like the art went from 1 to 10 through the whole movie and it was like an hour 39 minutes and I was like gosh I can't wait for this movie <laughs> to the end cause it just I'm watching it and I wanted to get better and it just don't seem like it's getting better I, and I was just surprised when I was looking on the internet at everybody's thoughts and some and most of the people were like this movie had everything it was this it was that and it was and i'm not gonna lie and it was like mostly i'm, I'm not gonna lie like most of the black people were most of black people who did a reaction on this movie were like this movie had everything and everything okay you guys are only saying that because i'm black I'm, but you guys are only saying it just to be honest because ice cube was playing the the superfly you were only saying it because most of the movie was made of rap and everything. It was just like, dude, not everything needs to have rap in it. Not everything. Even when people like make like YouTube channels, that everything needs to have rap in it. I mean, some can, we can have rock in it. We can have Hispanic mu mu music in it. We can have like everything doesn't always have to be about rap. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate everybody welcoming me. Oh, uh, that was Am was welcoming. I'm running by. Uh, I appreciate everybody, you know, welcoming, like, it's it's kind of like welcoming black people into, like, 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 thanks guys, you know what I'm saying, like, we welcome you to the <laughs> to the family dinner, I, I feel like that's what people want to introduce, and it's cool, appreciate it, thank you, but you don't have to make everything about, like, black, uh, a black, you know, thing, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, like, you don't got to make introductions about rap you don't always gotta j just just to get your 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 youtube thing going you don't always gotta make movies about rap because it just makes it look more cooler like no just keep it toned down like i like i when i was watching the ninja like when i was watching the first ninja turtle movie it was like okay it was you know what i'm saying it was cool you know what i'm saying like it was it was more of like those silent type of ninja movies that you're supposed to watch where you know they you know what i'm saying like they they don't go off of like music or whatever they just go off of you know what i'm saying you know i know what i'm talking about but you know when you got secret of ooze you got vanilla ice and you know what i'm saying it was cool back then it was all right because it was different you know eminem wasn't out there it was something different but now we at a point in our life where it's all out there it's cool but you know i just wanted just to put out put that out there i don't trying to not trying to offend nobody but it really was like that. It was like it, it, it was like everybody was like, "Oh man, this movie was great. It was it was fantastic." Like the the kids got the joke. Like I understand, this is for kids nowadays, and I know most of us as older adults, you know, wanted it to be about us. But I understand it's about kids nowadays, and I'm happy they got that and everything. And I'm happy the whole concept was about you know what I'm saying. Like, uh, well. Well, it was, the whole concept was about the Ninja Turtles being welcome to the human race. I understand that. I do. But, it, you know, I don't ever remember it being in a cartoon that they weren't welcome into the human race. I mean, uh, Secret of Ooze, they were kicking people's butt in the club and humans were all around. I didn't, hear, I didn't see nobody like throwing knives or pizza at them or anything. Uh, in the cartoon, they were above ground a lots of times, and I didn't see humans going crazy on them. You know what I'm saying? So it, so it was kind of like, like you know what I'm saying? It was kind of like, 
well, they never did have a problem with humans. You know what I'm saying? Like, would you like, like, we're, like, okay, you wanted the kids to fit in. Okay, got that. So it was, I don't know. Anyway, guys, so I'm just rambling on. <laughs> so anyway, I just, as you see, I had a big problem about this movie. I did. So anyway, give me your thoughts about it. Let me know your honest opinion. I mean, if, if I can accept criticism, if you guys, you know, say whatever you want to say about if I said something wrong, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll be back with more.